Hello friends! Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel, as the case may be. Today we are doing reading number 25 out of our 1001 tarot readings. Today's question is a ask any question reading. It is a three card spread. And again, I am using the Mythos Tarot, the Guidance from the Greek Gods. Again, sample spreads. Use this as education, as entertainment, ideas of how to use your tarot decks, and also just to see a wide variety of decks that I own. So we're going to get into it now. For this reading, we're going to use the full deck, so we're going to shuffle it up. Because this is a reading that is very generic, you can think of any question, and this is just to provide general context. Again, it's a sample reading, not necessarily true to any given person, but hopefully you'll still gain some insight out of it. So for this, it's just a line of three cards right next to each other, side by side. Okay, interesting. So we have the Four of Coins, represented by, I can't read that one upside down, uh, Epi Epiphron? I'm probably saying his name wrong. We have the Chariot Reversed, which is represented by Apollo, which is very fitting. And then we have the Six of Wands Upright, which is represented by Nike. So for the general situation of whatever you were thinking about when you clicked onto this video, Four of Coins, Chariot, both reversed, and then Six of Wands. For our first card... Oh, it was reversed. Helps if I hold it to the camera in the same orientation as I pick it up off the table. We have the Four of Coins, represented by, again, Ep Epiphron. Epiphron? I, I don't know how to say his name. He is the Greek god of shrewdness, of uh, prudence. Wis well, prudence is a specific kind of wisdom. It's making wise choices with what you have. Being reversed, there is something going on right now that is miserly. Either you or the person you were thinking about, the situation you were thinking about, someone involved is penny-pinching, is overly concerned with hoarding resources. Card number two is the Chariot, represented by Apollo, also reversed. So Chariot is quick changes. It is movement. It is transitions. Being reversed, nothing's moving. Uh, being represented by Apollo is very fitting. Apollo is the god of the sun. He would pull the sun behind his chariot across the day. He also has associations with... Wow, my brain just lost the word. Prophecy. That's the word. Uh, he has associations with prophecy and with medicine and music. Being reversed... Things aren't moving. The, the situation is, is stagnant or moving slowly. Last card, Six of Wands, uh, represented by Nike. Um, helps if I, I show you the cards. So there's the Chariot. And I realized I was covering up a lot of stuff. So there's the Chariot again. <laughs> um, and then the Six of Wands is Nike goddess of victory. In contrast to the other two cards, Nike is about overcoming, is about victory. The six of wands here is saying you will overcome this situation. You will overcome this stagnation. You will overcome this, this miserly person or your own miserly attitude. But you have to take action. Nike is a goddess of actions not of, of passively waiting for something to happen. 
So, in summary, current situation may not be all that pleasant, but you will overcome it. If you've been liking this, these videos, please leave a like, comment, and if you really liked it, go ahead and subscribe. Until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye!